Good morning. I felt led to come share this dream with you guys that I had this morning because it had Donald Trump in it and it's not common for me to dream about him. I think I've maybe had two dreams about him in the past and he definitely hasn't like crossed my thoughts lately because I don't pay attention to the news or what the media is saying about Trump anymore these days because I've learned that it's just toxic for me to keep that stuff on my mind all day so I just don't pay attention anymore and I told the Lord that if there's something that I need to be made aware of then I trust him to bring it to me so I have really no idea what's going on with Trump these days I just don't really ever think about him very often so <clears throat> it's just very random for him to be in this dream and I wasn't even going to share the dream but the more that I think about it um it seems to have a lot of symbolism and um so in the dream I was with my sister and we were about to rent an apartment together in this apartment complex and the more I think about it I feel like the the apartment complex in this dream is symbolizing the United States if this dream is from the Lord um, so this apartment complex, it was pretty humble. Um, it wasn't like completely trashy or, um, it was a little junky. It was a little bit dilapidated in places, but there were other places that were really nice. Not super nice. It wasn't like a super updated type of place. I don't want to say it was like low budget or like, assisted living type of place but just maybe a step or two above that it was pretty humble but um, we were very excited and grateful to be there and it was a positive experience this whole dream the the vibe was very exciting and positive um but yeah i definitely needed fixed up in places so we it was like we just had signed the papers and we were um starting to move our stuff into our apartment upstairs and as i was walking through the hallway in the building downstairs um there was a lot of people in this building like it looked like um it reminded me of my high school when like between changing classes all the students walking through the halls that's how many people were in this complex and so i'm just walking along getting ready to walk some of my items upstairs and down the hall in front of me um, to the right there was a staircase that went up well across from that staircase on my left here comes Donald Trump walking through the hallway and then he starts to go up the stairs and he is helping people move and at this point in the dream like I could feel uh, Donald Trump's like emotions and thoughts and just his like aura like his whole vibe if you want I hate the word vibes but just uh, I could feel what he was feeling I guess and he was very like proud to be there and very genuine um, he just wanted to help he genuinely wanted to help people get moved in and I knew in the dream that there was like um, this program that he was in charge of for this complex where he was to be coming in and um, making repairs to the like the dilapidated parts of this complex and just doing some maintenance work and he was like really um, like excited to do that like everything about him was very genuine and I just want to help he truly uh, there was nothing contrived about it there was no feelings of like oh look at me I'm sounding um, a trumpet before myself look what I'm doing and it was no kind of like it wasn't a fake attention seeking ploy or anything like that he really wanted to help people and he was like very ready to start um, it was like he was in his businessman mode to start fixing this up and getting this running and making it all a like well-oiled machine again and I remember just standing there thinking like 
I stopped in my tracks and I'm like, what the heck is Donald Trump doing in this kind of junky little apartment complex? Like, what does he have to do with this? Um, but I could feel that he really just wanted to help fix things and help people. And I remember him like carrying suitcases for people and moving boxes and just helping this person a little here and this person a little there. Like he was helping everyone and he just was very ready to get to work. That was his whole feeling about him. And that's mainly the gist of the dream. There were other like personal things going on, but that's the main point of it. I I don't know you guys. I I will say over the past few days, I have really over this past week, I've really been seeking the Lord more than I have been in months. I will say that I have really just kind of um let myself get too busy with other things that even though I talk to him throughout the day and I think about Jesus all day long and everything that I do, I I used to be like extremely close with him. I would, you know, pray for hours, I would study my Bible. And I know you guys understand how it is when you have little ones and you get busy and I try, like I have my Bible set out in um, an open area where I can at least just pick it up and read even just a sentence every day. But I honestly, I've just kind of let myself get distracted and I haven't been as close with him as I used to and I've just kind of, I guess, fallen away from that a little bit over the past several months and over the past week I've really like really been seeking him a lot more deeply like I used to and so I just think it's really interesting that I don't have any dreams for months and months or a year um, and then as soon as I start to draw near to him just like the Bible says when you draw near to him he will draw near to you so just as I'm seeking him more strongly again I start having these dreams again so it's possible that the Lord could be showing me something with this because it's definitely not anything I've been thinking about um, I know it's very triggering for people to hear like if people say you know make America great again for Christians for some reason that is extremely triggering which to me seems really backwards I don't know why this whole new Christian culture has become very like America hating, hating people. I think the devil has tricked Christians into feeling some sort of guilt for having a pride in their nation. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that, but I think that's a lot of foolishness. That's just my opinion about it. Um, I feel like a lot of people think that if you just if you say you want America to be great again, or if you voted for Trump, that you're like worshiping Trump or you're idolizing. And it's just, that's just not, I don't agree with that. I'll say that. Um, however, like the way that things have been going in this country for the past several years, I would not even expect anything like for Trump to come back in any sort of way if this dream was from the Lord and if it was the symbolism of you know Trump coming back and you know fixing up and patching up these dilapidated areas of the United States and um, doing some repair work and maintenance type things and helping people of um, you know that your basic you know working class person is who was in these apartments I would, my opinion would be, you know, we're beyond that. We're past that. However, I have to be honest with myself because I've really learned over the past couple years that things don't always go the way that it looks like they are. The Lord has taught me not to go by looks. That's why scripture says to go by faith and not by sight. And I know for years on here, a lot of us have been like, well, it looks like this and it looks like that and this is happening so we're out of here and here we are how many years later so I have to be honest and humble with myself and realize that things could go multiple different ways and a lot of people have said 
on here like well we we wouldn't the lord wouldn't bring us this far just to turn things around for america and i'm like why not because there's scripture that says if god's people will turn to him and seek his face and repent of their sins then i will heal their land and i really feel like ever since biden has been in office a lot of christians have really woken up and realized what's going on and where we're headed and they've really like turned their prayer lives back on and seeking the lord more so if that's true then i believe the lord will honor that um it doesn't mean that it's like my opinion i I don't know. I thought we would have been out of here years ago. I would never have guessed that with the way things were going and as close as we are to the M-O-T-B that we would just switch gears and go back. And I'm not saying that, you know, thus says the Lord that that's what he's saying with this dream. But it is a possibility. The Bible, it's scriptural that the Lord said if, you know, people would basically wake up and repent and turn to him that he would heal their land. And a lot of people are really waking up. Um, he also could just be like, no, nope, like this is just the time. This is, it's time, you know, and we're just waiting to get out of here. I don't know. So it's not of my opinion or my line of thinking that, you know, oh, Trump's going to come back in some way and just clean all this stuff up and start helping people or whatever but it is a possibility and I could totally see that happening it hasn't really been what has been on my radar but if that if the Lord were to come and show us that that's what was going to happen then I'd be like okay I could see it because why not you could go 10 20 years deep into a rabbit hole straight to hell and the Lord could pull you right out of it like why not and then but people would people will say, well, then we would just have to go clear back through that process again. Okay, then we would. So we really just have to um, get our own opinions out of the way on what we want and how we want things to go. And I feel like sometimes we want out of here so bad that we can just put our blinders on and you know plug our ears and say, no, 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 I don't hear you and just don't even listen to other um, possibilities. I know a lot of Christians on here several years ago were having dreams where they said, I truly believe that the Lord showed me that Trump was going to come back in some way. And those, uh, those particular videos were just pummeled by people on here. No, that's not going to happen. It's it's that whole, no, 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 I don't hear you type of thing. And I get it. Like, I am so beyond tired myself in so many different ways. I would just love to get out of here. I'm, I'm watching my family go more and more in the, the wrong direction. So that really hurts. And I, it's really um, traumatizing for me to witness that every day. So I would just like to not have to watch them be headed where they're headed anymore i would like to be out of here too but if the lord is going to honor people's prayers or if he wants to do x y and z whatever then i am on his side and i'm open to hearing what he is going to do so this is just a possibility and i wanted to put this out there to see if anyone else is dreaming anything like this currently or if you have in the past and if you have, please post down in the comments because I would love to read that. This isn't a um, typical dream for me to have about Trump or, um, you know, him. Just I, I'm not one of those people that had dreams of seeing Trump come back and fixing things or whatever. So this is a first for me. Um, so I'm going to just leave it at that. I will try to keep up with your guys' comments as often as I can today. Um, hopefully you guys are hanging in there. I don't even know who's listening to me right now. I feel like a lot of people that used to be on here aren't anymore. Um, hopefully it's because they're just busy with life as well and not because anyone has like given up or fallen away or anything. So 
Um, it's interesting also, not just that I've been seeking the Lord more, that I have this dream, but also we're, we just started a new year. We're getting closer to like elections and things like that. I really, I really don't know where we're going at this point. So, all right, bye.